Um, as it turns out, according to Deadline, who got the scoop on this, they say thousands of executive, uh, executives across Disney and Fox are getting their paychecks restored to pre-COVID-19 levels. Uh, they hear that the temporary pay cuts with uh, which Fox imposed due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the entertainment industry ended July 31st as originally planned, and the Disney executives um, are going to see a reduction um, go away in their temporary salary cuts, uh, and they have been open-ended and will be lifted uh, on August 23rd, so in the past at this point. Uh, so knowing that, uh, we also hear uh, along the same week that Disney cast members who are still furloughed, many of them, uh, tens of thousands of them, as a matter of fact, so many that are not back at work, were also given updates that their furlough will continue kind of indefinitely at this point um, and continue on for many more months Here's an unnecessary um, idea as to when they are going to be coming back. Uh, bad optics, really bad timing uh, to know that Disney is quietly ending the executive pay cuts deadline. Like I said, got the scoop on this. And then the same week they acknowledged to their frontline employees, you're still going to be on furlough for the time being. Uh, Katrina, you know what's weird to me here um, is I don't know how you justify this right now to your shareholders. Uh, when you just came out of a really unfortunate, really bad uh, uh, earnings call, you know, and Disney did, and they ended up sharing that the only real highlight this year has been Disney Plus. Otherwise, everything is kind of in the crapper. They're not necessarily doing all that well. Stocks surged the next day for Disney, so that was a huge plus. But like, things are not good yet. You know, they're yeah. not out of the woods. I don't know how they justify this. They're like, I've been, I was looking at the stocks this like last week and they've been slowly increasing. But then I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm so glad that you guys get your full paycheck while all these people on furlough don't get that paycheck and now don't get the $600 a week extra. And, uh, and now they kind of have to go find other jobs and work two other jobs to try to make up the money and then still hopefully go back to their happy place where they loved working. You know, it's just like, I'm so glad you get your full pay. Yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yeah, I, there's not there's no two ways about it. This like looks really slimy to me, and it is really slimy. I, I you know, I know how we feel about Junior, but like all joking aside, like oh, Chapek, oh, Chapek. yeah, oh Chapek. Mm -hmm. I, I know how we feel about Chapek, but like that's usually in jest a lot of the time in a, in in partial, you know, regards. But like this time, I'm just like, no, dude, you don't you don't deserve that. It's and pretty messed up. Yeah, yeah. it's messed up. You like it's it's not even funny. Like the hero of this, you know, this was your moment, Junior, <laughs> to be like, you know what? You're offering me my full pay, but I'm not gonna take it. Yeah, you know yeah. why? Because I want these people off of furlough and back into my park. I, I just think it it's gonna really Disney for a long time, unfortunately, has not worried as much about their cast members as they should. Um, but this is one of those things where it really just goes to show you the, and you know, I know Garrett said it a few weeks ago of, uh, you know, if you don't, if you don't like it, then you can leave. And I took exception with that, but he wasn't wrong. That's, yeah. that ex that's exactly how Disney treats their cast members. And, um, and I just hope someday that comes to bite them in the ass. I really do. Sure. Um, yeah, as much it, as I tough. love, as much as I love the company, uh, they need to respect the people that are on the front lines for them. Yeah, this this move again um, dug up by deadline. It wasn't necessarily anything that they were talking about publicly. They they discovered it, <laughs> um, and to know that you know literally the same week that they're finding that pay is going back into effect for these executives that uh, frontline employees are going to remain indefinitely on furlough. Like I get it. It's a business. They have to make business decisions, but um, they're not out of the woods. Things aren't better. You know, like things haven't returned to pre COVID um, era greatness. So again, I don't know how you justify to uh, your employees and to your shareholders that this is acceptable right now. Um, I get it. Thank you for your sacrifice executives for taking the pay cut. I know a lot of these executives make the most amount of their money on bonuses, which they didn't take a hit on at all. People are still getting their bonuses, but there are those executives kind of in the middle in the Disney company that don't necessarily get bonuses. And so this pay cut probably does hurt them to a certain degree. But guess what? It's a lot better than being on unemployment. It's a lot better than being furloughed. Um, they're still getting paid. So uh, really unfortunate to hear uh, an incident that uh, we think deadline for, for discovering and bringing to light. And um, this was a, a real opportunity for, I think, Disney to you know, stand, stand on Pride Rock and say, we're going to do right and we're going to do the, the best thing possible by our cast members. And um, this just kind of leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, definitely. Got nothing more to say about it than that. I mean, you said it beautifully just there. It's just, I'm it's so just a bad taste Tyler. in your mouth. <laughs> I, tell you, I, I know. I mean, I know. The, you know, the people mm. that say how elegant, mm. elegant they are, are are the most elegant, too. That's right. Yeah. No, I, that's, and, and you should say it more often to me. Um, that's for sure. Right? <laughs> I will. Okay. I'll write that in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, uh, we wish all the cast members that uh, are on furlough and continue to be on unemployment uh, well in this situation. We know life is hard. Life is difficult, especially depending on what state you live in. Um, some of you are, are dealing with, you know, pennies a day um, that you are receiving in terms of just trying to stay afloat. So we're we're with you, we hear you, um, and we hope for the best to come. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. <laughs> <laughs>